On Tuesday, a heavy storm devastated the north of KwaZulu-Natal province, leaving at least 11 people dead and over a 1,000 displaced. The town of Tongat was severely affected by a tornado-like storm. Yesterday, residents returned to inspect the damage to their properties. When I woke up, I couldn't open the door because of the corrugated iron sheet blocking the door from the outside. When I pulled the sheet metal, I saw this strong whirlwind with loud thunder and heavy rain. I got rained on whilst I was inside my house. When I arrived, I didn't know if they were underneath the rubble because I yelled out their names, they didn't respond. I tried calling their phones but couldn't get through to them. When I found them, they were all soaking wet and frightened. I didn't witness the tornado, but my children told me what had happened since they were home. They told me that they saw strong wind that was rotating. They covered themselves with blankets trying to shield themselves from the strong winds. They managed to get out of the house with the assistance of their older brother. A destructive storm swept through parts of KwaZulu-Natal on Monday, causing extensive damage to numerous buildings, shelters and infrastructure. The storm brought with it at least two tornadoes amid heavy rain, strong winds and hailstorms. I'm here in Otongati, north of Durban, where the tornado struck. Eleven people have tragically lost their lives in various parts of KwaZulu-Natal. Now, Otongati was one of the worst affected areas. Community members are rallying together to provide relief and aid to those affected by the storm. Some areas are without water and others have seen complete destruction. Authorities are working tirelessly to assess the full extent of the damage and to provide assistance to the affected residents. We will continue to bring you updates as the situation unfolds. I'm Alison Lagrange for First Post Africa. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections to climate change to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.